evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Thirty six minutes still ahead of him here, round one of twelve. Little head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not Back have the, the reach body. compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed a taller fighter to come in and be short. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. And he's holding. Tyson's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Halfway through this round here. Protecting his head well with his guard. Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. Not much action as he just ties up. Commits to the overhand right and it serves him well. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the just fight. Like no just sense in wasting like time. Get right to it. Lewis is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Rain. Last it's 10 right. seconds Keep of this moving. first round. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs nice to shorten him up. Good job there, bro. Feel nice. Listen to me. You're not giving me... Here we go. Round two is underway. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Lewis is once again the target of a hook. Able to show you his blocking ability. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Lennox Lewis. Keep your head Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin. But truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. <laughs> Oh, what an exchange! <laughs> 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 
More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaged. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Mike Tyson's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing room, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. Final 10 seconds of round number two. How about that exchange? Let's see some more head movement. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Lennox Lewis is left now getting into the mix. Keep moving. Go, go, go. Oh, you got this one, baby. You got this one all day. All day. Keep working that jab, baby. Good job. Lennox lands the hook that time. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in, you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. Lewis is easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use them. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Double up your punches. Come on, Nacho. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's the end of round three. He's winning. He's taking it. You got to take it to him this round, all right? You got to bring it. The left hook is working good. Just apply some fucking pressure. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to see you slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range and jab, jab, right, okay? You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double the jab. That'll put us in a good position out there. Come on, now. Lennox Lewis is up on Teddy's scorecard, three rounds to zip, but still, obviously, a lot can happen at this point forward. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Relax, relax. Good flush shot by Mike Tyson. Come on. Takes come on. one but gives one. Good work by Lennox Lewis. Finish with the hook. Finish with the hook. Tyson with a block punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Keep moving. 
keep. Mike Tyson, youngest heavyweight champion ever, claiming all three belts, unifying the title, and then, of course, making a ragdoll out of Michael Spinks. How important is that to his legacy? Everything. I mean, he came up with the man, with his mentor, Customato, who had the prior youngest heavyweight champ of all time. That was Floyd Patterson. He wanted to break that record. He planned on, he lived to break that record. He's tired. He's tired, Jay. Come on, now's your chance. Good right hand by Lewis. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Showing you some defense there with the block. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he's throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. All right, you're waiting on it. I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on it. Round number five has arrived. A little head hunting with the right. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway into round number five here. Job, Overhand right can be so effective. <sighs> Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Lewis is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. Okay. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? That was good. That was real good. It took a lot. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Not able to land the headshot. He's tired. Come on, now's your chance. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily, and for a minute he let up, and bang. Good defensive skill with the block by Lewis. Lewis is putting on a show here, defensively putting on a show. 
and is helping this offense because, you know, he's creating holes, he's creating opportunities, holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. One, two, one, two. Finish with the hook. Hey, man, come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Last 10 seconds. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. That was another great round by him. I mean, what more can you say? He's landing the cleaner punches. He's being the boss. He's doing the job. I want you to go about downstairs, to become the winner. Then upstairs, okay? Body then yeah, head. Now let's fit. Now you're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Lewis is out there for another round in a fight that he's been in complete control of so far. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. There you go, there you go. Keep moving, keep moving. Relax, relax. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. He's tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now you can't. Lewis is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Halfway through the seventh round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Lewis is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. in the seventh. <sighs> and that's the end of round seven. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You, you go. If you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punch. Don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Keep your distance, all right? Nice work, he's hurt. Now I need you to jump. We've seen this before, Teddy. Start a round number eight. I look at your scorecard. One fighter in complete control. If he does what he should be able like to do, just he'll just like coast that. home for the victory. And if he doesn't, he could repeat history in a bad way. Billy Kahn, Joe Lewis, their first fight. Billy Kahn, way ahead in that fight. He couldn't lose the fight, except to get cocky, get careless, and let Joe Lewis knock him out in the 13th round. In and out, in and out. A good block. 
Lewis is clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. the left hand last 10 seconds of the eighth round this round comes to an end and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him not much energy there I mean, how does a trainer fix that well first of all you said a key word there you said you can just see well his opponent can see it so he's not going to slow down his opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this Go guy in. know you're tired. You're not tired. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Man, that's it, man. And job. that's what Good fighters job. do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Halfway through the ninth round. Punch! Punch! And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Tyson's missing punches here. Now, the good news is he's throwing punches. But Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing him upstairs. He should throw him downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find him upstairs. Relax, relax. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Come on. And that's the end of round nine. Lewis is in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Nice work, King. Good job there, Brian. Real nice. Nice round, baby. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been.
<laughs> Mike Tyson's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Each man getting the best of it. Oh, keep your feet moving. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Go, go. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel them ropes, move away. Nice work, champ. Nice work. Now keep it up. This guy's never felt a beating like this. Keep the pressure up. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Well, we'll see if he can come up with that something special, that jackpot being cashed in, because there's no doubt about it. I mean, just look at your scorecard here, Teddy, as we start round number 11. He is in a big hole. Now, this is where the trainer has to remind him. There was a moment in camp. The trainer's been with him for a long time, since he was a kid. The trainer has to remind him one of those solemn moments when he opened up to him and he said, this is what I want to be. Well, guess what, son? Here's the moment. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. That's what we worked on at the gym. Good job, boy. Good job. Halfway through this 11th round. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. <laughs> Teddy, you've been on both sides of this before, but right now, it's the side where you're looking up. You're sitting back with a fighter who's coming off of a round where you just clearly say he's losing the fight. What do you say to him to get him back in? Well, you have to tell him the truth. You have to tell him that you need a knockout or a big, big round where you have him on the floor a couple of times, that's a good start. And the only way that's going to happen is you got to start guy, taking right? risks. Keep you got to be more jam, aggressive. Jam, right, okay? It's over. He's tired. He's got you nothing got left, okay? Now just go for the head, knock him out. And... They've 
put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Scored well after being hit himself. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Here we go, last 60 seconds of the fight. On, in the last 10 seconds of this final round. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges.